What's up, YouTube? So, in this video, I'm going to be taking a look at uh, Jacob Eason, uh, quarterback out of uh, Washington. Um, so, yeah. Uh, he is. He has already entered the 2020 NFL Draft, so he's the second quarterback I've taken a look at. Uh, I've, I've already done film on quite a few, but I'm kind of behind on actually making videos on them. So, um. So to look at his stats before we get into the film, um, so this was a guy that played at Georgia, um, and then Jake Fromm came in and kind of took his job. That's why his numbers dropped off pretty heavy. Uh, he was the starter, and he did okay his freshman year. In 2017, he was a backup to Jake Fromm, and then he transferred to Washington. And obviously, you can't play your first year as a transfer, so um, that's why he doesn't have stats for 2018. But uh, 2019, his stats are pretty decent, 3,132 yards, 23 touchdowns, and 8 picks. Uh, the picks kind of need to go down a little bit, but it's it's not too bad. Um, so, yeah. Let's go to see all, so we can see a bit of his rushing. No, don't do that. I'm not trying to get copyright problems with this ad. But uh, as you can see, he's not really a uh, runner. He he does have some mobility, and he will like uh, buy time in the pocket. But he's not really gonna be uh, scrambling for yards too much. But he has probably the biggest arm in this class. I haven't seen everybody yet, but he's by far he by far has the biggest arm that I've seen so far. And he is 6'6", 227 pounds, if you didn't see that a second ago. Um and I've oh oops, is this the oh oops, I went to Utah instead of Oregon. I wanted to watch the Oregon film first. Okay, and I have timestamps ready for uh, things I'm going to show you because I'm not going to show um, both games completely. I just want to hit on a few points. Um, first off, his big arm. I want to show that off first. Mm. That just looks different. Um, I made a video on Jordan Love, and he and he has a good arm too. But that ball just looks different coming out of his hands. I mean, he he just has a cannon. I mean, there's a lot more to being a quarterback than a strong arm. And look, his base is nice and wide. That 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 that's what you're looking for if you're looking for a deep pass. If you're trying to get power, getting a wide base and throwing through your whole body, that's how you do it. And that, that's just a gorgeous throw. And he does that sometimes. He really does. But then he has some problems. Um, let's see, next timestamp, 2.53, this is, a, no, I have it written down as another example of a big arm, so let's see what we got, yeah, yeah, he, he just kind of squeezed that through, that's, that's a line drive one right there. And that was a tight window throw, too. Not every quarterback in this class can make that throw. Not that many quarterbacks in the league can make that throw. Uh. Um, next timestamp, 323. By the way, I will put the link to the original video in the description. Hopefully I remember. I should. Um, so yeah, I got this one marked as touch slash back shoulder, so. Yeah, yeah. Notice how he throws this nice and high. It's too high for the defender to be able to get his hands on it. By the way, this is pass interference in the league on the, on the defender's part, but we're not looking at him. But uh, he, he throws this to only 
to where only the receiver can get it. And that's a fantastic throw. It absolutely is. Um, okay. Three fifty three. Yeah, that's a fantastic throw too, but um that kind of lies with some of his problems too. Like he has so much confidence in his arm. Like if this defender reads that any faster, that can be a pick. Or if he just jumps higher and puts his hands up. But he throws an absolute bullet. The ball just looks different coming out of his hands. It just does. Um, next one is 599. And this will be the last play of this of this uh video. Wait, what? That don't make sense. Oh my bad, 509. My bad. I had a trouble reading my own handwriting there, but then I realized 599 doesn't make sense. That's not how minutes work. God. <laughs> but that just kind of shows like what he is able to do as far as his mobility goes. He's not super athletic. He really is a pocket passer with a strong arm. But he can scramble out a little bit and buy some time. And deliver a decent ball. So there's that. And then um, that's going to be the last of the Oregon game we're going to watch. Let me switch over to Utah. We're only going to watch film from two different games because it kind of still paints a picture. And good, the sound is off. I don't, I'm not trying to get copyright. Um, by the way, just in case I forget, if you, if you see, this is the uh, channel, Hash, that, that's the original uploader, and then... I don't know how to pronounce that, but that. Uh, so let's go ahead and get right into that, into Utah. I've already got it set up. <laughs> That's not the best decision in the world. but And, and I'll get into the decision-making in a minute because it is a problem with him. But good God, look at that throw. There's like a couple quarterbacks that can make this throw in the NFL. I mean, if, if if you look at the defenders around him, he is in double coverage right here, and he's got another defender coming his way, and he just squeezes that ball in. He has so much confidence in his arm. That is going to be a problem in the NFL because he is a gunslinger, and that's going to be that's going to cause interceptions in the league. It absolutely is going to. But good God, is that an amazing throw? Um. Yeah, 103. This shows off another tool that he's got. It's subtle, but it can be very useful. That little pump fake he just gave us. He did a little pump fake, and it was enough to make this defender come off the ground. Then he fires it in for a touchdown. That's not something that a lot of, that every quarterback can do. Sometimes they have fumbling problems when when, when they do pump fakes. And um, the plays I've shown you kind of paint the picture of what he can bring to you and where his potential lies. But now I am gonna have to get because it is a film breakdown. I gotta get into some of the problems with Jacob Beeson, and that is his accuracy and his decision making. I kind of touched on the decision making earlier with some of the big throws he's made that that could easily be a pick in the league and well this is a this is inaccuracy here and also I put something else on the side too it's kind of funny yeah the inaccuracy on that play man I think I rewinded it too far yes I did by the way I'm not editing this I suck at editing and I don't like editing so you know not doing that. Yeah, he just completely overthrows his receiver here. And he actually hits this coach in, in, in the leg. I just wanted to point that out. I hope I hope his leg is okay. Uh hope he can walk tomorrow. 
all that good stuff. But <laughs> let me see, four forty two. It kind of gets into his decision making a little bit here. And see, this play gets picked off, and they are up in the third quarter. There's no reason to make this throw, but he throws it into triple coverage again. Because remember, he did it earlier, and it worked out. But look, he's got... I mean, Even if this wasn't triple coverage, he shouldn't throw this because the corner has him dead to rights. I mean, he's this is such tight coverage. He should not be making this throw. He's shown a little bit of wheels to be able to get out of the pocket, and it's first down. Just get out of the pocket, throw it away if there's nobody open. But instead, he throws it into triple coverage. That That's the type of thing that is going to really hurt his draft stock. And I know he's going to do really well in the combine. I'll get, I'll get into that in a minute. I, I got one more play I want to I show you before I get into my final thoughts on him. Uh, 707. I had it. Okay, cool. Now, this is third and eight. They're now down after the turnover. He's going to scramble out, shows a little bit more of his athleticism, and honestly his arm strength, but again, he's throwing this into double coverage. And to make matters worse, he doesn't have to make that throw because once he scrambles out, he's got... A receiver here, and he's got his running back right here, and that aren't in double coverage. Give it to one of them and see if they can make a play. But instead, he lobs this up into double coverage, and it ends up getting picked off. You can't do that type of stuff in the league. That's what I call hero ball. Just thinking that your arm is so fantastic that it's always going to work out. That's going to get you killed in the league. Um, but overall... I like Jacob Eason. I think he has a lot of potential. Um, I think if you pick him up in the later rounds and possibly develop him, you might be able to get yourself a decent quarterback. But day one, I think he has a lot of work to do. I think his accuracy and his decision-making are major problems right now. Um, but some of the things I do like about him, he seems to be very comfortable in the pocket, but he isn't a statue either he can move but he he seems comfortable in the pocket he is a pass first quarterback and I do like that and there is something to be said for that um, his mechanics look very good at times but they also can be a little bit inconsistent and that's where some of the inaccuracy comes from hopefully you can kind of fix that um, and as you've seen he has a fantastically strong arm probably the f fantastically good job Rob I can't talk right now I'm doing like eight videos in a row I'm sorry <laughs> But, uh, yeah, very good arm. Um, I notice that sometimes he doesn't step into his throws, and I've kind of touched on this in the past with really strong arm quarterbacks. Sometimes their arm is so strong that they feel that they don't need to step into their throws because even with a flick of the wrist, they can just launch it. But that also throws your accuracy off a lot of times. So, um. He is good with the back shoulder throws, so that's good. Not every uh, a lot of strong arm quarterbacks aren't really good with touch type throws, and but he seems to be kind of different there. Um, also, he seems to be very comfortable dropping back too, so that's not something you'll have to coach into him. Um, a lot of these college quarterbacks, they've only ever really ran p plays out of shotgun or pistol, and but he's not like that. He can do shotgun, pistol. He can drop back. It don't matter. Um, but mainly he just needs help reading defenses, needs help making smarter decisions and clean up his accuracy a little bit more. And I think getting his mechanics to be more consistent, I think that'll fix a lot of those problems. So, um, but overall I do like Jacob Eason. I do. And I, I, th I think if you get him in the later rounds, I think he can be a good quarterback for you. Um, now, a good day, he is probably going to do pretty good at the combine because he has a very big arm. 
Um, he's gonna open up. He's gonna open a lot of eyes. But I just hope people don't take the bait and because he's not a bad quarterback. But it, just don't, just don't try to take him in the first round. That's all. Uh, third or fourth round, sure. I think that's a pretty good deal, especially if you're a team that has room to develop him. Like if you're the Saints or the Steelers or something like that. So, yeah. Anyway, I think that's gonna be it for this video. If you liked it, I'd appreciate you hitting that like button. If you have any questions or comments, leave in the comments down below. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.